think that should fix a lot of the there we go it'll start to fix itself i'm gonna spin the camera actually no yes i'm gonna spin the camera and give it to you so right here is caleb caleb let me know how that looks i turned the wi-fi on it should be good oh all right, y'all, well, he's getting that set up. I'm going to go ahead and start talking because we've got a lot to do and not a lot of time to do it in. So we're going to do a live A cutting clutch 5 and clutch number 6. Clutch 6 we'll talk about before we do it. This is one of those things where we show the good, we show the bad. That's what we do. Like, we don't hide anything. And, uh, you know, I think that's respectable. Some people probably don't. Frankly, it's my channel, so I'll do it how the hell I want. But that's what we do. And clutch 6 probably won't be the best. Clutch 5, on the other hand, is looking pretty good. We're going to keep this one very, very short and contrite. There will be no Patreon live after because i got a Patreon live tomorrow because tomorrow is the day for your special. We have a list dropping for Patreon people at 7 o'clock. So I'm going to wrap this up before 7 o'clock. That way I'm done. They don't have to be here trying to watch this and monitor the list. Or does it drop at 7.30? I have no idea. Ooh, what time did I put that? Do you have any phone? Oh, man. I can't remember. If it's 7.30, i got a little more time. I can't remember. I think I put it at 7. Uh, so anyway, while well, he's checking out, in case he had a note, and I can't remember some reason right now, I want to talk about these eggs. Five of them. Uh, pretty simple. What are we dealing with here? We did have, or sorry, there's six of them. I can't count today. We actually had seven to start. We did lose one egg, or one egg was bad pretty early on. So probably it was a development issue. Six is going to be a little bit different than that. Uh, but those will happen. This is our... True Ghost possible pairing. So it is a Het True Ghost produced in house, bred to a spider Het True Ghost produced in house. We produced Xanthix from these, we produced Ghosts from these, and we have produced once a Failure to Thrive True Ghost because, you know, nothing can be easy around here. So we're going to get rid of that. We're going to get to trimming. I can't tell you the exact day. They're due. Uh, one is pipped. I think it's a day longer than what we usually do. We're going to go ahead and cut six because of the condition it's in. So let's go ahead and open this up a little further and see what we got here. Since this one decided to go ahead and make a debut on its own. So the best thing we can hit would be a true ghost or a true ghost spider, depending on how you look at it. Uh, the worst thing we can hit is a possible het uh, exanthic ghost. That appears to be a ghost. And you can kind of tell it in there because it's just the colors are so light. And of course, it's alive and doing well. It made its way out on its own. Okay, if we get any comments, let me know how many people we got on here. Uh, 27 so far. Okay, I know we didn't wait as long as we usually do. And that's because of the time frame. Did you find out it was a 7 or There was no time on it on the post, so I don't know. Well, which post? Any of them. Like, I just scrolled through the list. There's no time. There's just date. Oh, it's written in there. But anyway, it's coming. It's coming in probably 30 minutes. So let's go ahead and open this guy next. Come on, True Ghost. So the odds are long on the True Ghost because a head to head pairing produces a one and four, right? Uh, so it's a lot longer to get a double recessive off of a double head to double head pairing. But that is what we're dealing with here. Ew. I am getting all gooey. Okay, I'm sucking with this today. I'm going to rotate that around so my angle's better for like how I like to be. And I won't suck so bad. That was pretty cloudy, but I think what we have in there is probably the dreaded pos hat. There's a chance it just looks dark because of fluid in there. We actually have a ghost. I don't think so. I think that's the dreaded pos hat. See the difference? See the difference? Mm. we'll see what do you think yeah yeah this is going to be a juicy egg we're going to cut it next it's going to leak everywhere oh beep see told you well that is definitely a dreaded <laughs> pos hat so guys, we are not hitting the odds real great here. Uh, I mean, it's healthy, you know, but that one could be a ghost. Yeah, we'll see, because the fluid, we just, where we cut it, it's kind of, see that yellowy tinge right there? That can hide the color of the snake. This one's very clear, uh, so we can definitely see what that is. Oh, I think I just poked you in the head a little, buddy. Yeah, I did. 
Uh, definitely just a, a possible double hit. By possibly mean it's... So these cannot be hit for both. Yeah, they can. Yeah, they can. What am I saying? But it's 66% chance of being hit for one or the other. Or both. I mean, but you can't... It's, I'm not going to do the math on both. It's 66% chance of being a head ghost and a 66% chance of head exanthic. And somehow if you mathematician that out there, there's a chance of being double hit. But they can be double hit because we did not use a visual. I've been like lacking sleep, y'all. I've been chasing kids around. I've had a wonderful Memorial Day. Had some of my favorite people come visit. Holy crap, holy, what is wrong though? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, this is a this is a shit show on the on they're healthy, but you know, this is what happens, man. When you take a shot at some of these double I mean this the odds of hitting this are the same odds as hitting well, not really, because there's multiple ways it could express like this. It could be head for nothing, it could be head for exanthic, it could be head for ghost, and it could be... Uh, so the odds of getting this are higher than getting a true ghost, but the odds of hitting three of those to one visual recessive over here is pretty crappy. Uh, so let's see if we can improve that. The spider's not showing through either. That's okay. I don't mind this on the spider. I like spider, but if I hit it, I hit it. If I don't, I don't. Speak of the devil, and it show up here. Oh, well, that's interesting. <laughs> well, poopikins, what do you think? I don't want to call it because it's its belly and its side, but that is pretty light for just an exanthic spider, I think. But as we see more... Oh, I'm seeing more gray now. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think, think that's probably just, an exanthic spider. Yeah. Ugh. But I'll hey, there for a second. hey, at least we have both recessives. Now we can get right. more than one egg. It would redeem all the bad odds. One true ghost would do it for me on this clutch. I don't think this is going to be it. Mm -hmm. Well, that is an exanthic spider, though, for sure. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Interesting. I'm not saying anything until it comes out of the egg. And you know what? In this scenario, that's really good. What I can say for sure is that is an exanthic spider. I got no doubt about that. This one probably is an exanthic spider, but could it be something more? It certainly could be. The problem is we rotate. You just can't see much. We're not going to go too hog wild because we can be patient. We'll make a little bit extra cut for y'all. That's about all I'm going to do, though. Um, you know, because it's... I lied and make one more cut because I'm curious. And I think if I just cut right here, I can get a pretty good view of it. Here I say don't hack eggs up, and every now and then my curiosity and excitement gets the best of me. I'm not saying anything until it comes out. <laughs> Here's the thing I think actually. There's a lot of yellow when you get there. See that? Yeah. I think what you're looking at there is a ghost spider. Yeah. Not an example of ah. a ghost spider. So. Kind of cool though, you know, I mean these three kind of suck. Well this one maybe not, we'll see. But we got it, an, a ghost all day long. I'm not sure yet, possible double hat, possible double hat. We got a ghost spider, pretty certain. That's exactly what that looks like when you can see the back. Yeah. Uh, and then we got an exanthic spider. So what we, we likely missed on the true ghost, that's okay. You know, uh, would I have loved to have hit it? Sure would have. But sometimes you don't get what you want. And when you have that long odds, uh, that comes more frequently than not that you don't get what you want. So that's okay. I, it's not a bad clutch. 
it redeemed itself really nicely. I mean, we got three visual recessives out of a double head pairing. You know, and all of the visual recessives also, so like, would have a 66% chance of being het for the other recessive. So the ghost in there is 66% chance of being het for uh, exanthic. The exanthics are 66% chance of being het for a ghost. One of these days, I'll probably just put one of those females in my back pocket and see if I can increase those odds. I just haven't done that yet. All right, this clutch. Let's talk about it. Uh, cinnamon to blitz clutch. We had five good eggs, I believe. Uh, we don't have five left. We got two left, one I'm not going to cut. We used a different lid. So we, we tried a different tub out in the sterilite we had laying around. Uh, we didn't see what's the moment, I guess. I don't know. And, you know, when you start changing how you incubate, you're always taking a chance. So this was a slight change. You can be the same thing. What we found is this particular type of tub, I mean, it still has a clip-on lid, right? Positive clip-on, positive clip-on, but it did not hold moisture nearly as well as this. And we continually had to add moisture, add moisture, add moisture. And um, the first time we noticed that, we'd already lost some eggs. You can see there's some missing spots there, that's why. So those were gone. So we got, I would say, one egg I'm confident in, one egg there's a baby in. I could see it with a candle, uh, but I didn't, I can't tell you it's alive. And this egg is, I'm not even gonna worry about cutting that. It's, it's done. No, watch, watch, done. Okay, it doesn't even change form. Uh, and people say, oh, I've seen ugly eggs hatch. I have to, I've been at this long enough to know that's not a possibility. This is an ugly egg, that is a possibility. We're gonna do that last in case it isn't well. I have pretty good hopes for this one. So you don't want to see them this sunken in, okay? This is our fault. Let me be clear. Over here, I said the one we lost probably wasn't our fault. Over here, the losses are probably our fault. Um, you can see we put a lot of moisture in there trying to help that out, and it hasn't really made much of a difference um, trying to get them to turn by the time we caught it. So what did we do wrong? One, we changed tubs, and we failed to check on it as much as we probably should have. Um, sorry, I keep watching the rattlesnake move in the background. She's going to do the babies any moment, too. And so that's, that's on us. And, and two, we, I mean, we changed tops. So if you're going to make a difference, you need to check on that more frequently. And I didn't do that. I made a difference. Ran my incubator like normal. Let life get in the way. And I probably lost some eggs that I probably shouldn't have had to lose. So that is a bummer. Let's see if we can salvage anything from this. I mean, you're talking at this point in time, we have a possibility of salvaging two out of five. You have a situation that's not too shabby. Uh, this is their day, and I want to make sure these things can get out of here. If they're there, there's a good chance they're small and they're weak. Also not a genetic issue. Again, probably my fault a little bit. So I want to make sure that they have a chance to come out of the egg. There is a snake in there. Question is, is it alive? It is. I'll be darned. Yeah, I expected this one to be okay. I mean, okay, as far as the life goes. We'll see when it comes out. I mean, everything looks pretty well developed. The tail does not look to be kinks, just the way it's laying. And I would say, if we're going to save one, this might have been the one to save. Mm -hmm. Let's just uh, take a better look at you here, buddy. Definitely blitz in there. But as you can see, it's probably not going to be the world's largest baby. It is, oops, it throws scissors. If you look back in here, I'll turn the camera, I'll turn the egg for you, make it a little easier. You can see it's still got some yolk to absorb. Right back in there. So we're going to let it sit in there and do that. And hopefully now, since it's open, you know, the egg won't be as dinting on it. It'll have more space. Humidity will be fine in there because this is humid. This is going to be in there. I know I usually take the rack out. We're actually going to leave the rack in. You know, we'll actually probably pull it out. I'll let them sun that moisture, absorb some moisture. This one, I don't have very high hopes for this one. Okay, this one, uh, I could see pattern through the window there. So I know something's in it, but I don't know if there's anything alive in it. This is a snake that's probably developed quite a bit, but very well may not be kicking. And that's going to be the case. We can kind of hack into this thing because you're going to be able to see. Um, yeah, this is probably showing good and bad, y'all. Like, 
most people would just, you know, bypass this or they wouldn't have cut that clutch. That's why I don't go by number. They don't want to. I don't have to worry about being gentle here because the snake is not a snake that's living, as you can see. Uh, it just, there wasn't room in there. When you start to see things adhere to the egg wall like this, that's because that egg has passed. Now, you have a comment that was chuckling? No. Oh. Just laughing at this. At this? This isn't funny. This sucks. Come here, you. Now, if you ever pull one of these out like this, oh, well, shit, you're twisted up in there too. Look at that. So maybe it would have been okay had it not twisted. You can see right there, it's underneath its yoke. Got a twist in there a little bit. Pull it out. Yeah, so that's not good too. You don't want them over that. Now, that's not in our control. This part here is not. Uh, now that's not too tight once I pulled it. I don't know if that's what killed it or constricted it. I highly doubt it. I think it's probably more of our issues. But uh, I was hoping I could get that thing out of there enough for you to see some pattern on it. Come on, buddy. There we go. So as you can see, it was pretty far along. Not all the way. Um... Uh, you know, and it's, that would have probably been, now you're going to say, well, this is really light, man. I think there's more there than not. But you remember, the colors are the last things to really develop fully. I can tell you from looking at this, this would have been a blitz. Uh, you can see the evidence right there. You can see the evidence there, there, you know, right there. I can tell on the head, there's these little spots here that are pretty common in my blitz that I work with. Uh, that's what that would have been. It would not have been a blitz, or, cal or not a blitz calico. A blitz cinnamon at all, just a straight blitz. Uh, would have been <coughs> oh, ate a bug. Would have been a nice snake still, but unfortunately, not going to be survivable. So we'll stick that there. Uh, anyway, that's one of those bummer things that happened. Now I am going to go ahead and set this down here. The reason is that little bit of moisture. Well, actually, you know I don't have to worry about drowning the egg now, right? If it sucks some moisture up, that's fine. It'll just keep some moisture in there. I will let that thing come out on its own and pull it as soon as it does. Um, hopefully that ain't that's developed fully, but we are going to be dealing with the small baby. That's just facts of life on that one. Probably like a 40 gram or maybe. All right. Whew. We only have about 10 minutes till 7, so we'll field a few questions, and I'm going to get off here. Uh, pull some eggs, which will be clutch number 16. Yes. Yes. I expect 17 any day now, and 18 is not far off. So uh, we are up to, I think, uh, right about 40 ovulations. So we're going to have a decent year. Um, this pisses me off. You know, like, guys, we've had a few. Like, we had one clutch that was all select this year. That sucks. You know, we had another clutch just now we pulled through the day that was uh, pretty pathetic. It was two good eggs, one, mm -hmm. mm, and, uh, what, three slugs? Something like that, or two slugs? Two slugs. Uh, you know, and that was the same father that threw the entire slug clutch. So he's not completely inoperable. He may have just have some first-time jitters, you know. But, like, those I don't get too upset about. They're a bummer, you know. But, like, that's just part of it. Sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you're not. Ain't a lot I can do on some of that, you know. But this was my damn fault, so this sucks, uh, you know. And that's the case of it, the truth of it. And and I know, uh, and I'm not saying it's going to happen here, but I've seen it happen on Facebook. People like, will take something like this, like if I were to put this, if I was unknown, nobody knew who I was, I didn't have Olympus, I didn't have this, I didn't have that. Uh, and I'm not trying to go to use Olympus to like have special cloud or any bullshit like that. I think that's fucking ridiculous. But if, if I didn't have Olympus and I posted this on Facebook and I said, oh, I had this happen, this is what I did wrong, this is my result, you know, and this is what I learned, and I want to share it with others so they can learn. You're going to get some places, if you get lucky, they're like, oh, well, hey, thanks for sharing, you know. Then you get the others who are like, just want to rag on people for that. Point of the matter is, guys, I'm still going to learn shit as I go through it. But this one, ah, oh, like, here, never use that tub again. Problem solved. Uh, of course, there's still an egg in there that has to get moisture, but it will because it's sitting directly on moisture. So, uh, now I marked it. I'll never use that one again. Uh... <laughs> But that's just kind of one of those things. You know, like, 
no matter who, the, the person doing the ripping has usually had the same offense or worse. You know, but then they get people get afraid to share what's happened. They get afraid to share information, afraid to share failures because they're so afraid of being ripped on. And then they got to be quick to rip on somebody else because some folks out there think, if I can tear somebody else down, or then I sound like I know what I'm talking about, and then I have clout. That's the people really chasing clout. I recently wrote on a Facebook post something talking about you know people on YouTube, you know, and just trying to get this clout and clout. And those terms I hadn't really heard of, but they made sense. I thought they're not wrong for some people. I'm sure. Uh, and I thought about myself a little bit. Is that why we're doing that? I thought, no, I don't want to give a fuck about the cloud. Does it help with sales? Yeah. Is that part cool? <laughs> yeah, it is. I, I mean, I ain't going to lie to you. That is cool. But is, 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 is am I on here because I have some need to be famous or I have some need to be super well-known or I have some need to be... <sighs> no. Like, I didn't start it for that. I started to share a journey. You know, would I like to get to 100,000 people? Yeah, that'd be cool. Why? I don't know, I like getting little useless plaques. So I would just want to get one from YouTube. Uh, plus it shows people share the journey, and that's kind of amazing to me. And I'm always honored every time and humbled by that. I'm not like, you know, I just, if I really wanted just to grow clout, I would just start freehandling venomous snakes all the time. I mean, shit. If I freehandled venomous snakes and did crazy stupid shit or using camera angles, we'd have all the clout we wanted ever. But I don't do that because I'm not going to do those things to try to just generate clout because I just don't care. Uh, so people who think that's why there's YouTubes out there, they're probably right for some. Not for us. Not my goal. Uh, okay, let me don't be a long time. Is Olympus a place that's chasing clout, you think? No. No. Now, if we were chasing clout, we wouldn't We wouldn't show this. As soon as I'm like, well, you just showed that because you don't want to be found. Sure. No, we've showed this since day one. We just don't have a lot of things like this to show. This is not the norm. You know, but when we said we're going to show the good and the bad, we have to do that. Uh, it sucks. I hate filming this. I hate showing this. I hate ripping apart my own failures for the world to see and doing it live. It's embarrassing. It's fucking embarrassing, and it sucks balls. Totally does. But I can't sit there and say I'm going to be transparent. I'm going to do it. I'm going to operate this way because I want others to not, A, make the same mistakes, and B, share in our journey, and then hide from my own damn screw-ups. Can't do it. Can't do it. So, uh, anyway, there you are. Jennifer asked, what's your favorite gene to pair with blitz slash trick, codom and recessive? Ooh, so, uh, man, that's a loaded question. We're still working on a little of that. We're getting to the recessive we want to do, which... Blitz is a, uh, you know, Blitz kind of works different from everything I talk about. You know, I'm always like, oh, you, you know, two genes to three genes, you can make a really beautiful animal. It's not about the number of four or five genes. But Blitz is a gene that sometimes when you get the right combo in there, about three, that's crazy stuff. Like, uh, we have a Blitz Calico uh, Pastel I really, really like. Really like. <laughs> really like that thing. You know, it was featured in one of our videos recently, one of our favorite snakes. That thing's awesome. Uh, you know, Blitz with any of, the, like, the, the Bell Complex stuff is, is really, really nice. You know, Blitz with Exanthic, I think, is going to be kind of meh. But Blitz with Exanthic with, a, with another gene to kind of amp that up in color is going to be phenomenal. You know, Blitz Pastel Exanthic will be great. Uh, Blitz Hellfire Exanthic, if we, once we prove Hellfire out a little further, will be great. Which we're already working on that, too. You know, I don't work with enough clown to ever thought of Blitz clown, but Blitz would probably be really nice in clown, because uh, clown needs more pattern, honestly. You know, when you do pattern reduction things to clown like your spider, it, it just, Caleb hates spider clown. I kind of like it. But you'd probably add a lot of cool pattern to, to that with there. You know, albino, you'd get a lot of pattern, which kind of amplifies it, probably wouldn't be my favorite or first pick to go to there. Uh, banana looks good with it. I mean, I don't know. I haven't found spot any adult. Nose. Oh, Spot Nose would probably be good with it. Spot Nose Blitz would be really nice, yeah. You know, like, honestly, anything. Anything you want to take the pattern and add more and mangle it. You know, Blitz causes chaos. That's the best way I can describe it. It is a chaos gene. If I was the first to make those genes and I would have named it, I would have actually named it the chaos gene because that's what it causes in the pattern. Um, but Blitz is a cool name, too. I like football, so we'll All right, any other questions? we got time for one more, probably, before I say our goodbyes and let that list drop. Uh, Shelby said, I want to see it, 
what animal and specifically are you talking about we want to see? You want to see for the blitz combo? Yeah. See, I'm gonna pick one for you. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna pick yet. See which one. Cause one of them I'm not messing with too much. Yeah, we're gonna let you be. I'm gonna use this one for mine. So this is a really simple combo with blitz. And this is just a Blitz Mojave to give you an idea of what it can do. Now my favorite one I can't pull out because she's in the middle of ovulation, which is a Blitz Banana Black Pastel Calico, I think. Is that all that's in there? Yeah. I think I'm missing one. Banana Blitz Calico. Nope, that's it. Banana Blitz Calico Black Pastel, which we're going to work Suma into. I, I love this, man. I really, really do. You know, I like this girl, too. This is another one though, like, let me show her there. That's just a Blitz Calico. And you can see it's very chaotic and what it does, it doesn't do what you think it would do, you know? So there's just, man, you can't miss. You can't miss. We just let a really, really beautiful one go the other day. That was a, another Blitz Calico Pastel, right? Yeah, Whistle just shipped out a straight Blitz that was really nice too. Yeah, so I mean, you really can't go wrong. Let's see how this girl goes. I'm not messing with her because she's probably going in the shed right now. Yeah. Let me get her out for you. I said I wasn't going to, but I'm going to do it anyway. I want to offer her good spotty support. And remember, these are adult snakes, so that makes a little bit of a difference, too. So I love this snake. She's been featured a lot, you know, and that's got blitz in it. There's, there's a ton of them. There's an absolute ton of them. Good snake. All right, anything else? Nope. All right, guys, there's a few minutes till 7, so we're going to drop up off here so we can clean and set up eggs while this drops. Uh, I just want to say, Patron, hey, this is dropping. I can't remember 7 or 7.30. I can look back, but Caleb's using my phone. So I know I told you all what it was, though, so just look for that. Um, and then tomorrow is the special. We'll have a live special for you tomorrow. We'll talk a little bit about these clutches as well then. And we'll do the sale. So that's kind of where we're at. Kevin, anything you want to add? Nope. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.